Hey everyone, it's Antics again with another StarCraft 2 replay. I'm going to be casting a game uh, that I played on the ladder. It's going to be me, Antics, the Red Zerg, versus Map, the Blue Terran. Um, let's get this started. Start off with my drone split. I'm going to send my initial overlord to my natural. That way I can get inside of any early uh, bunker rushes. I'll be droning up to 15, grabbing my uh, first hatchery or expansion, and then I will be uh, droning up to just back up to 15 and grabbing my uh, spawning pool instead of the normal 16 spawning pool. And what he's doing is he's not walling off. But I typically don't send a drone scout down. Um, I will be trying what I believe is a one base all in. at about 200 minerals. I'll send my drone down to grab my um, natural. It's about 200 minerals. Let's see the drone going. And he will be dropping my natural about when I have 300 minerals. I'm droning back up to 15. And then I'll get about 200 minerals and then drop my uh, spawning pool. From him, you see his double racks coming down, dropping an extra supply depot. And not much going on up here other than my spawning pools started. Hatch is about halfway done. And he's going to send his initial. SCV to scout, I believe, or to drop a bunker. I do like the distance in this map because it does take him long enough where I'm going to be sending my initial uh, drones over to my natural, like transferring them. And I will catch this SCV. We'll see in a second. So here comes my drones. Around, take him out, and then start mining. Sending his first initial marine, followed by two more. And it doesn't look like he's actually pumping out of these raxes anymore. Wait for some wings. I'm going to use this injured drone to. Uh, Drop a spine crawler. <coughs> Managed to lose one wing, which I was trying not to. This was spine crawler. My queen should pop in time to defend against this. Where's my queen? And he does supply blocking quite often in this match. This is the first supply block. Let me get a good and because of that I overproduced lings a lot. I was expecting more uh, of a push than just that. I'm going to be dropping down two more racks and a um, factory. Grab the tower. Should be grabbing this other tower with one of these other lings and sending another laying down to his natural to see if he's going for an expansion. Be continuing to drone, grabbing my third queen. Try to spread some creep. I'm grabbing it right. What? There. I'm gonna spine crawl it up. And I should be sending yeah, okay, so now I'm sending the Ling Scouts. One's 
gonna take this other Zilnaga Tower, and then one's gonna be sitting in his natural to see if he's gonna push out or uh, take his expansion. He's grabbing his stim pack, which I'm assuming he's gonna be waiting for to finish before he pushes out. Dog, quiet. Uh, one second. All right, I'm back. Um, let's see. Just gonna do a little push with some Marines and a Hellion. This is a little wing in the tower. get pushed away and my spines finish in time. Okay, so in the meantime I've grabbed my second gas. I haven't actually transferred any drones into it yet. There it goes. We'll be starting upgrades soon. Grabbing my third gas. Taking up to uh Layer or yeah, layer, and grabbing my fourth gas. I'm sending another lean down to see if he's taking his natural yet. And not really spreading creep. Got some wings on this tower. Building my macro hatch. Should be dropping down my third soon because I'm oversaturated. Yeah, here comes my third. Undersaturated here. And I see the drop coming. I'll be producing some more lings, a couple banelings, and grabbing a couple spore crawlers. Because I wasn't sure. I still hadn't seen him taking his natural, so I was assuming he was probably going to go for some other, like, cloak banshee play. He's using an awful lot of scans. It looks like now he's about to take his natural. So here comes this drop. A little supply block in the game, right? And then another overlord. Then more lanes. Try to get us around. Check out one of the uh, medivacs. And clean up all those marines. And then we're gonna try to snipe this medivac. Which I miss it. It's fine. Send an overlord out here. Scout for any drops. She will be sending a drop to this, my third. I should probably drop a couple uh, spines here to protect against anything like that. I'm sending my third queen over. And producing some more drones. He did supply block me and I didn't notice it, so... I had to overproduce some more lords. Quite a bit in the 
My spire is finally finished. I don't quite want to know I have a spire yet. Something smart, I shouldn't just leave my wing or bane wings chilling here because it drops and this thing is going to waste all the wings. Re droning up over here. Should grab my gases soon. Actually, I really don't need any gas. But I will once I start mass upgrading. And for future, because I'm gonna go with some uh, uh, Brood Lord play. Just dropping a couple spores here. That'll help with any medevac that he drops. Dropping my second Evo Chamber to start double upgrading. I'm starting to make some meters. Getting a little bit of creep spread, but you know, I'm wasting these queens just sitting here. So I'm gonna go for a little bit of harass. About eight meters. Send them down to this natural and try to kill as many SCVs as I can. For him, he's got quite a bit of energy. It doesn't look like he's using his mules. He's building his third and he doesn't have too much production. He's trying to pull his mules out before I lose them all. He did get a couple SCV kills, but probably not worth the Two mutas I lost. He's gonna be spreading some of his marines out, I believe. And now he's gonna start his upgrades and grabbing some Thors, which is what I was hoping him or he would do. I'm going to be going for a push. Not what I should have been doing. I should have tried to get those bands up on the walls up on her. He's going to run into the back. And then just try to clean this all up. I'm going to get some more SCVs and I'm going to try to pick up this, this expansion. I'm going to do clean up quite a bit. I know, he's got his stories finally. And I should be pulling his moves back, but instead I place him. Get my reinforcements to come in. Get up all these back. Try to get the snipe. Get my back. Check for his third, make sure he doesn't have any. But I do see he was trying to drop it. Bringing in some more lanes. I'm gonna try to pick out these stores. outside check for try to push because if I was him I would try to get some damage done that looks like that's what he's gonna be doing he's gonna try to get a little bit of damage done or not 
do remember him doing one more draw. Solby. Re macroing up an army. Mostly just lings. I'll be waiting for my hive to finish and then get grabbing my greater spire. So yeah, he does try another drop. We're about even on upgrades right now, I believe. He's not upgrading any further, and I am um, what two one with two two almost finished. Grabbing my two air attack. Taking my fourth. I don't think I spot this drop until a little bit later. So I think I was about to push out when I saw it. I think it's going to be up. Maybe something up to clean up the rest. So now I'm going to start producing my uh, corruptors for when I start making my uh, brood lords. And I do do another. This was a pretty bad engagement. So re macroing up. Uh, I think I was waiting for this to finish before I started my greater spire. No, it's not. Okay, so yeah, I started that upgrade a little bit late and had to wait for it to start my greater spire. Just grabbing a bunch more lings. I do not know he started his third yet. But I know I will in a second, because I'm gonna scout over there. Yeah. I can see it. I believe I'll use this crew. Done play. Got my adrenal glands started. Plus three melee attack. So I'll re-macroing up another army, which is a bonus to having quite a few hatcheries. Not none of them with queens spawning larvae. Grab my first couple brood lords. I will be making a couple more uh, corruptors, but I don't believe he knows I'm going brood lords yet. No. And his production's pretty much shot. He should be building some more production buildings. Miss Rallied Fanlings. I'll be sending my army down there to try to clean up this third that I know is trying to go back down again.
Here comes my brood lords. Again, drops one marine to blow up my banelings. So now he does see my brood lords. I believe, yeah, he'll start trying to mass produce Vikings out of one starport, which I don't believe he's going to get out in time. And he's down to just one mining base. Alright, thank you for watching.